Hello students, welcome to the EVS class. I am your EVS teacher. Today we are going to our sixth new chapter. Chapter number is 13. Animals for travels. Animals for travels about the chapter. You have already learned about different modes of transport. In this chapter, you will learn about uses of animals for transport. Early man used to travel from one place to another on foot. After he learned to domestic animals, he began to use ox and bull to pluck the fields and pull the cart. Even today in villages, pole carts are used as means of transport. Mule, horse and ass are strong animals. Hence, they are used as means of transport in the hilly areas. All the animals that are used to carry loads are called pack animals or beast of burden. A camel can move very easily in a desert. It is called the ship of the desert. It can survive without water and food for many days. It is for these reasons that camel used as means of transport in desert areas. To get the picture students, elephants were used in the battlefields because of their power. The kings sat on the elephant backs in the howdah. Today elephants are used to transport goods and people in forest areas. You can also see elephants in religious processions, fairs, Jews and jungle safaris. Horse have been used since olden days because of their speed and grace. Do you know, have you ever seen any animal being used as a means of transport? Have you ever taken rides on any animal? Where and when? A horse helps men to carry his load and travel over long distance. Horses carriages which came up first in India under the British rule were of many types. They were pulled either by four horses, two horse or a single horse. A horse carriages pulled by a single horse is called a tanga. It is used today in small towns and villages. Look at the picture students. Victoria was a luxurious horse carriages which was very popular in Mumbai. In Kolkata, we can see people enjoying a ride in a horse drawn buggy with the introduction of many new vehicles. The use of horse carriages has declined but they can still be seen in fairs and weddings on Republic Day festivals. In many parts of our country, the bridegroom comes to the bride's house on a mare with the wedding procession. Horses have to travel on different types of surfaces that are rocky, hard, cobbled and uneven. They wear specially designed iron shoes called horse shoes to protect their hooves from damage. Horse shoes protect their hooves and allow them to walk comfortably on all kinds of surface. Hanging a horse shoe outside the house is considered a sign of good luck. Do you know, have you ever sat on a carriage pull by a horse? How was your experience? Where have you seen people riding on a horse? How can we take care of animals? Animals are our friends, especially cats, dog and birds. We can keep them as our pets. They need our cares and kindness. It is our duty to provide them good food, clean and airy shelter. In case of illness or injury, we should take them to a veterinary doctor. With. They require a lot of love and affection. Most of them become part of our family and remain loyal and faithful all their lives. Okay students, now we conclude our topic with the remember points. Early men used ox and bull for their physical power. Mule, horse and ass 
are used as means of transport in hilly areas they are the strong animals animals that are used to carry loads are called pack animals or beasts of burden camel is used as a means of transport in desert areas elephants are used to transfer goods and people in forest areas a horse helps men to carry loads and travel over long distance horses carriages are of many types horse horse shoes protect the hooves of a horse from damage Okay students here we end up the topic and here is the last chapter now we are, we will meet for the next class okay students keep studying and all the best bye bye students